Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. The day has come, the time has come. This video right here has been the most requested video for the past like year and a half. Somebody asked me this question at least once a day and the reason why I'm pushing it back so much is because at first I had a little bit of problem of like sharing, you know, like my little secrets about editing and you know what filters do i use how i use them how i tweak them you know what apps do i use because i feel like i work so hard to get where i'm at right now that for me to share was like no 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 i did it on my own people can figure it out but you know as time went along sharing is caring like it's the best gift you can do to give back to somebody and honestly i wish that back when i knew nothing i would have somebody to tell me all the tips and tricks about photo editing how to make it the most instagramable how to get brands to notice you all of that and i am pretty proud of myself how far i've come by myself I mind you i have watched videos here and there so i have learned a lot from a lot of people and a lot of videos that i've watched but most of it is just like my little secrets my little way of editing my pictures and i'm so happy that you guys have been wanting to know for the longest time because pictures for me like what i put out on my phone is typically like so hard for me because i am so hard on myself i want to make it look the best possible it's taken me a long time guys to get where i'm at right now and like with my editing style finding my own rhythm finding my pictures to look just like me so with all this being said take as much as you can from this video any tips any apps anything but at the end of the day make it your own you never want to duplicate something you want to be inspired from it but i am super super excited to be sharing you guys how I edit my pictures, I'm gonna be doing a makeup selfie. I'm gonna be doing a OOTD, which is like an outfit post. I'm also gonna be talking about presets, what presets work best for OOTD pictures and also makeup pictures, how to have an aesthetic for your page. So it's gonna be a really lengthy, in-depth video. And I'm so excited because I feel like I'm actually teaching you guys something other than just like putting makeup on my face. It's such a necessity if you wanna build a profile and a page that's gonna attract brands. If, this, if it is what you're going for, for your business, you wanna be a content creator, influencer, YouTuber, or if you just wanna be like a, a fashion blogger, you know, or a lifestyle blogger, whatever it is, you wanna have the most appealing page, not only to attract followers, also attract brands so you can make it your full-time job and you stand out from the rest. Make sure you subscribe down to my channel. I am about to hit 100K and guys, please, we are so close, almost a thousand away. So please subscribe down below, hit the little bell button so you know if I'm gonna make new uploads and welcome to the ballerinas family. So if you guys wanna learn how I edit my Instagram pictures, then please keep on watching. I will be making a video separately on how to grow your social media and all the above. Okay, now let's go to what you're here for, editing your pictures. So first we're gonna start with selfies. On here on top, you guys are gonna see that I have my photo and video little folder as you can see i have plenty of them i can i can vaguely go through all of them really quickly so bisco right here is an editing app as like probably like one of the most popular ones it's really user friendly and it has amazing filters facetune is like a girl's best friend when it comes to blemishing your face any sits makes anything pop more glitter highlight lips all of that we're going to cover that as well we have Unfold, which is an app for your stories, making them look super cute with the aesthetic. It gives you a bunch of options, a variety. No, we don't want to buy that. As you guys can see, I have folders here. And yeah, that is, oh, sorry. That is pretty much it. Facetune 2, I only use for like two features. I feel like Facetune 1 is better. So I use this to do other things. And then we have Afterlight. It's great. Story looks, uh, it's a, um, another Instagram story app. Tessa has been like my life, guys. Like Tessa app is lit. If you guys don't know who Tessa is, follow her. She is like a major inspo. She's a blogger. Based, she's an influencer based out of New York. We have Lightroom CC. This is more advanced. So it kind of is like more on the tricky side, but it's still great. And then we have, oops, sorry. Then we have on, um, This app is also a must have because it organizes your pictures really nice. So you can kind of plan out your content. So you can pop them in there and do all of that. But we're mainly going to focus on the first page as here are all the picture, all the editing tools that I need. So first, start with a makeup selfie. For me, it's been really, really hard to edit makeup selfies and then still be cohesive to my page. So I've been able to do little tricks here and there to make them pop, look great, and still match with my feed. So first thing I wanna do is go on Facetune right here. I'm gonna go ahead and import a picture. I could probably show you guys how I did the one that I just put on my Instagram, but I'm gonna do another one 
that is more makeup related. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be choosing this picture right over here so you guys can see. It's a little bit too yellow, too warm. I like my feed more white crispy black neutral shades that's kind of like my vibe i never throw in really colorful ones just because it's not in but i like my feet really saturated with my skin and kind of like the makeup stand out but i kind of keep the same color scheme so that's also really important in knowing what color scheme you have for your page because that'll also help you in how to edit your picture so i do know that i do not want any any yellow on my picture so that's what we're gonna work on but first we gotta work on the face making sure that i blur out anything so i go ahead and take this little titter over here it's smooth and then you have smoother but this one blurs out the face too much so i go in with the smoother one first and then i'll zoom in into my face and then what I'll do is I lightly run it on my forehead, my nose, and in the areas where I see a little bit of blemishes. But I don't overdo it too much because I don't want to look way too fake. So it pretty much is good for me. And then on my chest, I do have a lot of blemishes. So I'll also go back in here probably a little bit more heavily. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the blurring tool. If I do this smoother, let me show you. It blurs it out like so much. Like it looks great, but to me... It's a little too fake, so I just, I'm not about that life. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. And go back in with my smoother and just blend all that out. Great, so after I smooth the skin out, I'm happy with how it looked. I didn't take too much of my texture. Now we're gonna go in with details. This is really important. I love to make my jewelry pop. So I'll go on my rings, I hit it right here, my necklace, and then for your makeup, be really careful because it's gonna get a little bit grainy sometimes. So I like to hit the areas where my gloss is literally popping on my nose, the bridge of my nose, and then any areas to where my eyeshadow is popping, already i'm gonna go ahead and run it lightly and then i also hit the inner corners this is going to brighten up the eyes as well and then i'll zoom out see where i'm at and then i'll go ahead i see i have a little bit of highlight and i tap it maybe like two times and that's about it also if you're um if you have like lash glue or like your lashes poking out you can go to tones right here and then you want to go with the blackest shade hit the little paintbrush and you could always like just like lightly dab it like that and it's going to give the appearance of a fuller lash line if you miss the spot or you have some glue it happens but an easy fix that nobody will really pay attention to so the picture is already looking so much better i'm actually going to post this not today but i had to edit it anyway so i'm pretty happy with how my face looks right now so what i'm going to do now is take the little whitened toothbrush this is great to whiten your teeth obviously but also or even the background behind you so right here you guys can see my towel is dirty so I'll go in with a little toothbrush and as you guys can see it's whitening out my towel and then I'll run it a little bit higher up so it's not as noticeable and it kind of brightens up everything so it's not dirty anymore. Boom, that looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little check mark and then save to my camera roll. The next step that I will do right now is go to Facetune 2 and this is great if you guys wanna make your background black and white. I always had a problem with that, um, trying to like make my pictures like really bright in the back so I'll have this one right here. What you want to do is go on retouch and then you're going to go all the way back to black and white and you guys can see how it automatically takes out the yellow it's a really really good trip but lately i haven't been doing that because i don't want my feet completely like black and white theme but if it's something that you're going for this tool will be amazing for that so up next what i'll do i will go in on visco or tessa so i'm going to show you guys where i go on tessa for like my favorite presets for my selfies i've always had a problem with that because i would notice that like presets on my face or filters will make the makeup not look you know real to life and most brands want to see your makeup how it is even your followers so you don't want to put a filter on it that's going to completely wash out your makeup let me explain something like that you guys see the difference it's a pretty filter but not really for like a makeup selfie so i mean tessa app she has amazing filters you have to buy the app it's like a dollar a month but these work better i feel like for like otds and like more lifestyle pictures but you could probably like make these work like i'm gonna really pretty what you want to do is just like tone it down a little bit so you still have a little bit of that preset so if you do want to use any of these already made presets they're a little bit intense but take it and you could always like bring it down and you can still use it and then still apply the same preset to the other pictures and everything will look cohesive so i found on this app my favorite two filters for my selfies have to be yum as you guys can see it still keeps the integrity of my makeup it looks pretty similar a little bit more orangey but what i'll do is tone it down a little bit i like it for the reason that it does whiten out my picture it makes the white brighter and it does make my makeup pop and it brightens up my face so i typically don't have to edit it anymore just go ahead and upload it but 
The preset that I'm using currently right now is called Vintage. It does give me more of a tanner look to my skin, which I love, but it is such a strong filter that it kind of like pixelates my face and like separates everything. So what I'll do is just like, you know, tone it down a little bit like that. So it still looks really good. The color is a little bit off, it's a little bit more orangey, but it still looks good in my opinion. So I'll go ahead and save that. So after this step, typically I'll go to Visco right here. You guys can see I already edited one. So you can go back and forth with filters. That's what I do sometimes. So you wanna take the picture and then I always like to add a little bit of grain to my pictures to bring back the texture of my skin. I don't wanna upload it and be looking way too fake. I'm just like not the vibe. So I'll go ahead and hit the little tools right here and find the grain setting right here. And you get to go all the way up to 12, but that's too much. So I keep it around like one or two depending how I want the picture to look. But for this one, I want the makeup to really show, so I'll keep it at one. And if you do want to use a filter from Visco, you can always layer it as well. You just gotta make sure that you do a little bit at a time, because if not, it will be too much, though. This filter right here is the one that I previously used, so you guys can see that, like, you just gotta find the combination that works for you. So this is a preset E6, you might have to buy it, but I like to apply it and maybe drag it on, like, 7.5. That's kind of, like, my favorite right there and I go ahead and save that to my phone. So you guys can see the before and after. It's pretty drastic in matters of like coloring and that's one thing that's gonna make your pictures stand out so much. So that is how I get my pictures really bright, colorful, but not completely like saturated or really washed out either. So that is how I edit my makeup selfies. Now let's go and edit a regular like OOTD. I just took some pictures the other day. Let's go ahead and let's see, yes, yes. Yes. I'm gonna go back and edit one that's actually like on the street. I wanna show you guys scenery behind you. It's easy to edit in front of a wall. It's just like you can just copy paste the same settings and be straight. So I'm gonna be showing you one that is like more lifestyle and stuff. And this is where Lightroom comes into play immensely. So I'm gonna be using that picture. So first what I wanna do is go to Tessa. Automatically when I'm gonna do OOTD pics, I go to Tessa first because I that's where I find my favorite filters for that. Okay, so from Tessa, you guys see that the filters actually look a lot better when it's an outside picture, but um, as I mentioned before, Vintage is the one that I've been using, but I'm going to do maybe like 35. I don't want to be too much. I'm going to go ahead and save that to my phone. With this filter, sometimes um, the face can get a little bit blurry or like pixelated, so I'm going to go back in into Facetune, and I'm going to fix my face really quickly. Just blur out the areas where it looks a little bit pixelated, like... Right here my forehead, you guys see where I have some spots, so I'll go ahead and go with a smoother tool, that's it, and then I'll go ahead and go with the details, and then I'll highlight my glasses, or any jewelry that I might have, really quickly, nothing crazy, save that to my phone. Now, for my aesthetic, I like my leaves and my greenery to look a little bit more olive tone, washed out, I don't like bright green like the plan behind me i just found the vibe that i want and also i don't like really pigmented skies or pigmented anything i want everything to be like more neutral so that is where i'll go into lightroom and lightroom is great if you already know to do photoshop it just makes your pictures look like really professional um, especially if you're like a travel blogger lightroom will edit your pictures like nothing else because you can literally just from a picture from like I don't know, a blue sky to like a purple pink sky like in a minute. I'm actually gonna show you guys right now. So in Lightroom, I don't really use Lightroom anymore because I feel like on the go, it was just too much for me and I wanted, and I had it on my desktop, it was just too much. So I'd rather do it on the Tessa app, Visco, and then call it a day. So here what I like to do is play with the light settings or color. So we have the light settings right here. If you wanna fix anything, you could do it there, color as well. But my favorite tool in Lightroom is this little mixer right here. So as you guys can see, it gives you a shade of every single color. And what else I'm gonna do is manipulate that exact color. So for the red, you guys can see it pretty much on my lips, how it's becoming really pigmented or not. And I love it because it's actually moving just the red color and not the whole picture. So I don't really need to move the red, but the blue, I really wanna work on. So you guys can see I can make it look purple or like really aqua. And then as you play around with it, you can make it look super dope. And yeah, but obviously ain't nobody got purple skies. But what I do with my blues, I like to make it a little bit more aqua. And then I wanna saturate it to about like, I don't know, right over here, like 60. And then with the luminous, I wanna brighten it up. So it gives the illusion of like summery, really airy, clear sky. So as you guys can see, if you press down, you see the difference and it makes it, I don't know, a little bit more cohesive and then I'll go ahead and 
save that to my phone as well and then i'll go ahead and go on bisco one more time and then i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of green with this with with lifestyle pictures i find that i can be a little bit more generous with my green this is not the main focus on my face and it gives it a really cool look here we go we're gonna add some green right now so here i'll be really generous and i could do maybe like up to four and voila okay so another app that i'm going to show you guys and be really in depth in is the on um app this app is amazing to organize your feed especially if you're somebody that likes to shoot a lot of content ahead of time when you only shoot content once a week you want to get organized this app right here gives you extra grid space so you can go ahead and plug in more pictures so you just plug in pictures that you want to use so i'm just gonna i don't know do this one this one and this one I'm gonna put three in here so as you guys can see my feed is up to my selfie so I'm gonna go ahead and deselect these right here and delete that one and depending on your aesthetic you want to go ahead and move things around and make it your own just kind of see what the colors look like and honestly guys it is such a time saver and a headache saver because unless you upload a picture and you're not really happy with how it looks so this really does come in clutch you can see you can just play around with it and then you could even like take a picture and like hide it so if you can see so you can see if you want to play around with it or not so that right there guys is how i edit my selfies so there you have it guys there you have my secrets and how i edit my pictures i really hope that it was everything you guys were expecting i hope you guys were like wow this girl had us waiting this long for that but it's just my little formula and my little recipe so i really really hope that you guys love this video if you did please share it with a friend and make sure to subscribe down below to my channel let me know what other tech videos you would like for me to do anything related to this matter i am going to be doing more videos about social media and how to grow your audience and stuff i am really excited about it i have some ideas I jot it down i really hope that if you guys do learn anything from this please let me know write me on instagram dm me comment just let me know how it's going for you guys and let me know if anything was helpful i really really want to know your feedback that's it for today guys i hope you guys learned something i love you so much and abrazos and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys